for the other new world order, Bishop Brady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Make sure you check out blackfoxnews.com slash shop. Link is in the Instagram bio. You can uh, just type in the URL, get yourself paraphernalia gear, just like the sweat I'm wearing right now. We get it in different color, shapes, and sizes, match anything in your wardrobe. Keep you swaggy, too. You know what I mean? Um, we got other products on there. You know what I mean? Just support us as we continue to support y'all now. Uh, advisory committee of uh, U.S. vaccine experts actually voted uh, yesterday, Thursday, on allowing for the emergency use authorization of the uh, Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. So this is a historic day. Now, as soon as now, the, all this waiting on is the approval uh, for the F, by the FDA, FDA. Pardon me. That's the Food and Drug Administration in the U.S. And uh, they're expected to do that tomorrow on Saturday. Where that as soon as they do that, 2.9 million doses of the vaccine is going out all throughout the country. Uh, first initial limited supply going to the healthcare workers and uh, nursing home residents. Green War graduation. What the new world order? Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. You know, letting y'all know what's happening out here because shit is getting real and times are changing. Right now, 220. 4,000 new infections of COVID-19 throughout the United States in the past day uh, with uh, nearly 3,000 deceased due to COVID-19. A uh, crazy thing about it, the CDC director, uh, Robert Redfield, actually said that over the next 60 to 90 days, we're likely to see uh, the daily death tolls that actually surpassed the death toll that took place on 9-11, on the September 11th attack. So you're talking about over uh, over 3,000 on a, on a daily, where he's basically saying, he also said it's sobering that uh, right now, COVID-19 is the leading cause of death in the United States. So um, same time, you have another story coming out where you have a, a, um, a worker at the CDC uh, that told lawmakers this week that she was instructed by Robert Redfield to delete an email from the Trump administration that was basically uh, notifying that, that there was uh, the Trump administration was trying to alter um, the numbers on uh, COVID-19 effects on children in order to fit his uh, messaging for trying to reopen the schools. You know what I'm saying? You know you had no business opening no motherfucking schools during the pandemic. You feel me? Like, I understand stress on the parents. And you know, that's why other shit should have happened in order to make that able to happen. You know what I mean? Like, uh, having to go with the mortgages or whatever. And, you know, it was a way It was a way to do that. And you should have led strong and in the right direction with the truth from the jump. You tried to mislead the people. That's a whole nother thing, though. But that's where that's COVID-19 situation is at in the U.S. currently. Green War and graduation. This report out of the new world, though. The Bishop Brady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report, man. Make sure you check out blackfoxnews.com slash LPay. Let's post about it. It's actually a social media forum that we actually created through the news channel that allow us to build, uh, share information in ways you can do on any of these other social media platforms. You can share code. You can share documents. Uh, make conversation. You can actually share a uh, videos and they'll be embedded to where you can play them in the chat um, it allows us to create profiles and there'll be other incentives on the way but definitely create a profile and um, you know I mean we could actually build on these nitty-gritty truths we need to actually move forward because uh, right now people is dying over COVID-19 and Republicans even trying to make Republicans wary of it uh, you have uh, the uh, state speaker of the house in New Hampshire uh, Dick Hinch dude just got sworn in on December 2nd uh, for um, that position and then a week later ends up uh, dying from COVID-19. Uh, well, he died and then uh, they just found out that it was from COVID-19, but he died a week later. So it's uh, ill because at his ceremony, it was attended by like several Republicans who ha admitted that the day before they had tested for uh, COVID-19. So. Uh, after going to some indoor event where people refuse to wear masks, you know y'all Republicans do, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's crazy because now you got um, William Marsh, he's the state rep for New Hampshire, um, and an uh, ophthalmologist. He actually was uh, con condemning his party for not wearing masks, and uh, even the governor that went on it, Chris Nunu, uh, he's a Republican. He was uh, slamming people at the party, saying like, you know, it, to to not do so to make some political point is just like completely irresponsible and has serious consequences. So, um, you know, right now people are in a frenzy. Like, you got people in prominent positions dying a week after you just got in the office. 
leading cause of death right now in the U.S. COVID-19 ain't doing numbers, man. Green War and graduation. Report out of the world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. It's obvious loud over here. We out in the streets, but uh, 1.4 million people filed for unemployment and benefits last week. That is a sharp rise uh, compared to the week before. Uh, right now, you have um, uh, 12 million uh, people expected to lose their unemployment benefits at the end of December, with uh, 19 million said to be unable to pay their rent, uh, and a CDC moratorium going out, uh, expiring on the New Year's Day, that basically uh, puts a moratorium on evictions. So right now, it's a, a surge of um, uh, hunger that you expected to see in the streets and actually is being seen in the streets right now. It's a report put out by the Washington Post saying that um, the sharp rise in hunger and homelessness is leading to shoplifting, uh, large increases in it, where you got bread, pasta, and baby formula in high demand. Green war and graduation. Report out of the world, though, the Bishop Grady Lake. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, uh, Senator Majority Leader uh, Mitch McConnell actually rejected the $908 billion coronavirus relief package that was proposed uh, by the House of Representatives. So, um, that is actually uh, something that is, uh, he basically said it doesn't provide enough uh, protection from corporations for liability for workers who contract COVID 19. So there's a tug of war there because on the flip side, you, you want to have hold companies accountable for keeping the workers safe. You know what I'm saying? They can't just be doing whatever and then not take accountability for motherfuckers spreading COVID. Like in the meatpacking plants, you know what I mean? You know, uh, that's a whole nother story though. Uh, but nevertheless, you have um, actually uh, this, um, another uh, amendment that was pushed by Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Uh, to a spending bill that actually has to be approved uh, by Congress tonight in order to avoid a government shutdown. The amendment calls for $1,200 uh, to every adult and then $500 uh, per child uh, for the coronavirus, um, you know, stimulus basically. So we'll see if that turns out uh, to uh, the, the favor of the people. Remember, that's the same deal people got last time, but I mean, how long did that 1200 last you? Green war and graduation. Report out of the world, though, the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, over in uh, the top of Africa, Morocco, uh, they actually become the fourth Arab nation to actually establish ties with Israel. Very interesting dynamic uh, with uh, Israel since they are being accused of committing human rights abuses against the Arabs in their own backyard, the Palestinians, um, and, you know, trying to take over their territory and um, you know illegally occupied settlements and all of that so um, very interesting that they're establishing relations with these Arab countries uh, and as uh, an agreement uh, as part of the deal the United States agreed to be the first country in the world to recognize Morocco's sovereignty over Western Sahara now look that place up on the map it's actually considered to be Africa's last colony so now uh, you basically the last spot to be you know what I mean claimed by the white man essentially you know what i'm saying so uh right and the morocco has actually been occupying the place um in defiance of the united nations since 1975 and in defiance of like going against the international community and all of that so you have um you're talking about that occupation i mean thousands have actually been like killed um tortured in prison disappeared uh all in the resistance of that occupation so it's a a real thing going on over there that the U.S. is in Israel seemingly being tied into. Green War graduation. Report out of the world of the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So over in uh, Azerbaijan, the capital Baku, they actually had a big military parade out there celebrating their victory over uh, the Armenian troops in the Nagorno-Karabakh region. Remember, they was warring, uh, Azerbaijan was uh, war warring with uh, uh, Armenia and that's the area where you have like the Caucasus Mountains, you know, where they say, where they say white people crawled out of, you know what I mean? They say, they say, they say. I, I personally uh, can't, uh, you know what I mean, break that down for you, but you know what I mean? They, they say. So anyway, you have um, uh, the, uh, at, at the parade, the um, president of Turkey, uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, he's there, you know, and keep in mind that Turkey, they actually back Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan in this six week, war I mean, this was an all-out war now keep in mind you have amnesty international and human rights watch uh, and after like you know monitoring they're saying that uh both sides actually committed um 
uh, war crimes essentially with like extra extra judicial um, executions, beheadings, you know what I'm saying? Like um, torture and like even just uh, desecrating bodies of slain soldiers. So, you know, they was going all, all out. This sound like some old 300 shit for real, for real. But at the same time, you know, it was kind of Star Wars because they was firing drones at each other as well. You know what I mean? And, you know, and getting it on on the ground. So, you know, shit was real. Green War and graduation. Report of the New World Order, Bishop Brady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, uh, Joe Biden was actually on a conference call with some civil rights leaders and this audio had actually linked to the intercept. So, it's about 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Check it, check it out, you, you judge it for yourself. But, uh, you know, it was interesting because he said, he said basically that he was going to, um, you know, use his executive power to like undo a lot of Trump's actions but wasn't going to use executive action to executive order to implement a progressive agenda. You know, if he were to do something like, um, you know, put a ban on assault rifles, like he's not gonna do an executive order to do that. He would be way beyond his uh, power within the realm of the constitution. So, you know, he's kicking that, that job to, you know, our, you know our, our people, whatever, or the leaders of our people, so-called, you know what I'm saying? And um, and him saying that, he also was like, saying that uh, we should hold off on uh, uh, putting out uh, calls for uh, changing policing until after the Senate runoff elections in Georgia on January 5th, you know, basically. Because, like, you know, the fund the police is getting taken out of context and all of that. So, I don't know. What do y'all think about that? Green War and graduation. Two for the other new world, though. The Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, Joe Biden is uh, continuing to actually hire uh, some uh, Obama administration alums. Uh, two on deck, uh, uh, two new ones on deck. Susan Rice, uh, who was actually an ambassador to the United Nations and the National Security Advisor under Obama. Uh, she actually will be the director of the White House uh, Domestic Policy Council. Um, this position does not need a Senate confirmation. Um, now, you know, there are critics of it because they feel like, well, one, she's not even, she doesn't have an experience on domestic policy, and two, she uh, is very much was like pro-military in regards to um, situations that ended up devastating uh, Syria and Libya. So. Also on the uh, on the list is um, uh, Dennis McDonough. So this was actually the uh, White House um, Joint Chiefs, uh, not the Joint Chiefs of Staff. So, pardon me, the White House Chiefs of Staff, and uh, was chosen to lead uh, the Department of uh, Veterans Affairs. So. In doing this, um, a lot of critics were disappointed in that pick because they feel like you should have picked a veteran to serve in that position. So you already starting from a, a point of like not knowing uh, what you know the people, you know, the proper people need. Whatever you coming from, straight political uh, standpoint. Green War and graduation. Quarter of the new world, though the Bishop Brady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So of uh, the Veterans Affairs groups uh, had a watchdog and they actually had a report that sent, found out that the secretary for veterans affairs um robert wilkie actually and other him and other senior officials had us uh, uh, basically launched a smear campaign uh on a uh aid for the house of representatives who actually filed a sexual assault report and um you know they did so and this was filed by andrea goldstein uh, who issued a statement on it, you know, saying that, like, you know, millions of uh, men and women who've been subject to sex assault at the workplace, they have, like, you know, find those actions to be horrifyingly familiar. You know, you basically escape and blame and, uh, you know, deny and, you know, you launch smear campaigns against people. You know, I, I definitely, I paraphrase the fuck out of it, but that's basically what she was saying to bring a light to. So we'll see where this uh, lawsuit goes. Robert Wilkie, are you guilty? Green War and graduations. Streets report out of the New World Order. Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So I told y'all about that lawsuit that was going to the Supreme Court of the United States, SCOTUS. Uh, the lawsuit was actually led by the Attorney General in uh, Texas and then signed on by 17 other attorneys generals you know these the top cop of the state uh so you talking about uh basically 18 states and trump uh coming uh putting this lawsuit together to overturn the election results in pennsylvania georgia wisconsin and michigan so 
all states that uh, Joe Biden had won the presidency. So it's crazy over where they have voted and those electoral people will actually vote. So they, the lawsuit is basically to bar those uh, electoral college people from me being able to place their votes, which is supposed to happen in January. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. I mean, 106 uh, Republicans, though, in the House of Representatives have actually voted, um, uh, signed on to this lawsuit. And that actually is the majority of the Republicans in the House of Representatives. Green War on graduation. Report of the New World Order, Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report, man. All this extortion going on in the White House, man. This shit could be its own, like, version of the wire. Like, uh, something like, you know, I don't know, but, the, like, fiber optics or some shit like that. You know, make it sound more technical for the government. I don't know. But as as far as the drama, General, um, the, 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 in general, Inspector General for the State Department, Matthew Klima, he actually stepped down from his position because the, you know, this as as an inspector general, he actually is like head of the watchdog that actually makes sure that the State Department is, um, you know, moving properly, basically, and abiding by rules and laws and whatnot. So uh, they was actually they put out a report that um, Mike Pompeo, Secretary of State, had a huge issue with and lashed out on, spazzed out um, about, because uh, basically it said that um, his wife did not secure proper documentation and approval when uh, traveling with her husband for like what was basically State Department business. Um, but you know, now the uh, investigation has like actually cleared Susan Pompeo of any wrongdoing. And you know, man, but dude stepped down from his position. I don't know, it's just look, look, look real sus. Green War on graduation. What other new world go to Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So uh, the uh, Supreme Court of the United States has actually ruled unanimously that um, these three Muslim men that were pre placed on the no-fly list by the FBI, uh, they can actually sue the FBI for damages or whatever because the uh, the whole lawsuit alleged that the um, men had did the FBI had placed them on the no fly list uh, and as retaliation for them refusing to spy on their own communities and that and them doing so it kept them from being able to fly to like Pakistan, Afghanistan, Yemen. So it was a real fucked up situation. It was damages as call. You know you can't you can't go see your people for weeks uh, just because of nothing basically because you refuse to be a, a a bitch you know what i'm saying so you know that's what turned out and we'll see how their lawsuits go against the fbi green war on graduation what the new world though the bishop grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this black files news report so after only five months of even being in the position as acting head of um immigration customs and enforcement um tony farm you know what i'm saying if you can't tell from the name uh farm being spelled p-h-a-m you know the asian american with a dude whatever like he basically had stepped down from his position he's resigned from the position while he was in there though he oversaw the posting up of billboards of um uh basically illegal illegal immigrants and where it had pictures of these illegal immigrants and said you know ice considers them to say says that they pose us a, a public safety uh risk so you know what I mean? I mean you know, it's, 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 it's crazy being that this man obviously is uh, and being Asian American. His, his people are not from here, but you would feel like it's okay or rationalizing your mind that that's not like putting in danger people who maybe just, you know, deserve a, a, a fair shot, you know what I mean, at life the same way your people did. I don't know, but I think people's scruples is all fucked up. But at the end of the day, it's crazy how there's a revolving door at the heads of these positions in the Department of Homeland Security. What is that about? You know what I mean? Green War and graduation. This report out of the New World Order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report, man. Um, 40 year old Brandon Bernard, uh, condemned prisoner, was actually executed um, at a federal execution in Terry Hall in um, Indiana yesterday, where he was injected with pento barbital and um that's the end of that and it's unfortunate because a lot of people were actually advocating for him including kim kardashian west uh pushing for him uh and his innocence uh saying you know thinking that his uh dna evidence showed that he was innocent you know new evidence may essentially has showed that he was innocent but um uh the supreme court had declined to intervene in the execution and, and so went the execution um the ninth Execu uh, federal execution that's taken place this year uh, since you know Trump had actually brought back federal executions uh, you actually have um, four more executions scheduled before 
Biden would even uh, before Biden's inauguration. So uh, I don't know if they trying to they feel like this is points on the border side and I'm trying to uh, dig measure with these other authoritarian companies, uh, countries and all of that, whatever. But uh, I mean, it's really no comparison to like a Egypt if, if you even are playing that game, which you shouldn't. So I don't know. Shit is spooky, though. Green Wall and graduation.